Happy Easter, everybody. Hey everybody, Joel Hansen here. So I asked Google what the best desserts were around me and I was pointed to this place called Crumbled. Apparently this is a cake and dessert shop. So uh, let's head on in. I apparently have to order the whole menu. Uh, apparently everything is really good. So let's see what happens. All right everyone, so here we are officially. Welcome to the Joel Hansen Show where we eat awesome food at awesome locations and always eat way too much. So I went in blind, I ordered the whole menu at this awesome place called Crumble. I have the owner, Dom, here. Great gentleman, just met him, and he is going to now talk us through this menu, which we just ordered. So Dom, take it away. Perfect, okay, so right here we have our basic bay menu, which is vanilla bean. So it's vanilla bean cake, uh, vanilla frosting, made with real vanilla bean, real vanilla extract. Um, we have chocolate chaos here, so a chocolate lover's dream. It's chocolate cake with chocolate fudge. And then the classic red, white, and velvet, which is red velvet cake and cream cheese frosting. Um, so those are our basic bays. Those are always available all the time. Um, and then our spotlight menu is this right here. So we have now butter beer, which is Harry Potter inspired. So it is butterscotch cream soda cake with a marshmallow frosting, salted caramel, and white chocolate on top. Ooh, marshmallow. We are doing a collab with Cake and Loaf Bakery, actually. Um, so we are doing, we are featuring their cream egg brownie on top of our cake bowl, which is chocolate cake. It's a Swiss meringue on the bottom and then a French meringue on top to give you the two layers. Jeez. Um, we have Tickle Me Elmo here, which is a vanilla chocolate chip cake with a chocolate chip cookie buttercream fudge in the center, chocolate drizzle on top, and then cookie dough on top. Okay, amazing. <laughs> Um, and then we have two vegan options as well. Um, so this one is our Snickers, which is chocolate cake, peanut butter frosting, caramel and candied peanuts. Um, and we also have cookies and cream. So it's like Oreo, it's chocolate cake, um, an Oreo frosting, chocolate drizzle. Um, and then we top and fill it with crushed Oreo cookies. And then I made my own, which is, they call it like a cheat day. So basically you just pick your own cakes, your own toppings. So I have a vanilla cake, then a peanut butter icing, a, again, uh, vanilla and chocolate chip uh, cake, but it's red because of like the Elmo one. And then I have peanut butter with coconut, a coconut and caramel drizzle on top, and Reese cups. So all this sounds so delicious. Like, I don't even know where to start. I'm so excited. Cake, who would have thought? Um, so we weighed these out. So I have a total of nine dishes here. Nine, right? Nine, yeah. So two large. These things weigh over a pound and a half each. And then these little guys are just shy of a pound. So it's probably about nine pounds of cake here. Um, so I'm super excited. Let's get going. I'm gonna start with um, this red velvet. I was directed that this is a good one to start with. So red velvet, cream cheese frosting, holy job, let's just look at Like, so what it basically is, I have come to find, is crumbled cakes. So they take like cakes, which are all made here, and then they crumble them, and then there's like icing. It's like yogurt parfaits, but with cake and icing. Whoa! Okay, that is rich, but like in a good way. This is not, definitely not sugar free. Dom, is this sugar free? No. Definitely not sugar free. Just look at that though. Very, very rich and decadent icing, wow. Hey Dom, where did you get the idea to do something like this? Uh, I was making cakes for friends and family and um, all the leftover um, 
cake and frosting that was left from like shaking the cake or um, I was sticking them in the fridge and my boyfriend was eating them and that's how the idea like came about. Smart man. Yeah, this is delicious. Crumble. Crumble cakes and ice. So that was red velvet. I'll try this chocolate one. I'll start with the more basic ones and then we're gonna go on to the more deluxe features. Oh my gosh. I wish you guys could just feel how thick like with the icing and the cake. These are so thick and dense. Just look at that. Holy jumpets. chocolate cake. Wow. Man. So much icing. Crazy. Thick and rich. Wow. Super impressive. You like decadent chocolate cakes, wow. I love vanilla. I love the little bit of vanilla. And I'm a big vanilla person. So let's try it. Perfect. Wow. Seem basic because it's vanilla, but it's vanilla. I like it. So next, I still have tickle me Elmo. I have the cream egg one, the butterbeer one, Snickers, my own creation, and cookies and cream. This is a big one. We're gonna go for the cookies and cream. Just look at that. Beautiful cookies and cream icing, chocolate cake. Oreos on top, chocolate sauce. Holy jumpers, look at this. This is the time I wish I could share with everybody. Again, unfortunately technology does not allow that at this point. Again, super chocolatey. Holy jumpers. Very sweet. Very decadent, very creamy. I think the pookie bits in it gives a nice crunch. Texture. <laughs> we have somebody uh, we have somebody at the window that just recognized me. They cheered me on and said he eats everything. Uh, That's pretty funny. <laughs> I would have gave him a card or something if they would have came by. <laughs> there you go. Do the same. Have you ever seen, you know, if you're walking down the street and you see me eating everything, stop it and say hello. Always welcome. This is crazy. These cakes, wow. Tickle me I'm gonna try the deliciousness with real cookie dough on top. Look at this. Holy cow. Just look at it. Would you just look at that? Words cannot describe the beautiful imagery of that right there. It's brown sugar icing. Very brown sugar, rich, cookie-ish. I just broke my spoon. That's how thick this is. These are dense little cups. They're delectable. That is a 
blob of ice in and cookie dough. Here we go. That's impressive. Tonight, I think it's going to happen a lot sooner than that. It's very rich. <laughs> it is very rich. You can't blame us, though. No. Sorry. I'm going to blame Google. Really good, though. Can I set it up? Set it up? What do you say? Can I set it up or Google? Oh, for, uh, I do this for YouTube. I was saying I was blaming Google for sending me here. I looked up the best best desserts near me and it sent me to crumble. Let's do Snickers. Beautiful. Look at this. Peanut butter. This is this is the peanut butter icing. Caramel. Candy peanuts. Oh yeah. Oh. <laughs> like, it's difficult. Not get crumbles everywhere, hence the name crumble. But look at this. Look at the peanut, it's just peanut butter. Thick, delectable peanut butter. I love the peanut butter, candy peanuts. Definitely a buy. Need some more water again. I tell you what, though, these last three have me so excited. Butter beer for those Harry Potter fans. Cream eggs for me, because I love cream eggs. Shout out to Easter. Happy Easter, everybody. And my own creation. Let's go with butter beer. So this has a butterscotch. Regular and cream soda. Okay. Yes. Cream soda. This is amazing. Did you get the red ones the last time? Yes. It's my favorite so far. It is like, it's sweet, but it's also like, I don't know how to describe it. Sweet, butterscotch, kind of dynamic. <laughs> This is like a mouthful of delicious peanut butter goodness with chocolate. It's very sweet. It's so good. I love it. I love it. Peanut butter. Ah, you do things to me. That middle is a layer of pure peanut butter icing. And the one we've all been waiting for, the Easter special, 
with a little, very in short supply, cream egg, cream egg fudge. Here we go, everybody. This is Easter. I'm very excited. I'm gonna save that fudge for the last bite. Here we go. No, oh, Dom, I don't know, man. I think we need a milkshake to wash this down. Yeah. Do you have a, do you have a recommendation? Uh, this sounds really good. All right, done deal. These are like, they're delicious, but you really only need one. You don't need, you don't need like eight pounds or whatever this was of the cake, but it's really good. I'm really enjoying this. All right, here we go. Cream egg, Easter. Hallelujah. Just look at that. You, you guys, I mean, you can't fathom the density and thickness of this cake. Nice. Very creamy. Very chocolatey. You can like tell there's a difference in the two meringues or like the two icings. And now, icing or not icing. Sugar's getting me, guys. The fudge. The cream egg fudge. I have high hopes. Ready? Alright, so we have chocolate. And what I would almost describe as like a toffee caramel brown sugar. Soft caramel. I don't know, quite. Tastes like a cream egg, but it's damn good. Mm. All right, delicious. New talent milkshake coming. I'm excited. All right, here we are. Delectable looking new talent milkshake. Probably love on it at all. Very awesome looking pink straw. Very masculine. So guess what? This is apparently made with like a coconut based ice cream, is that right? Coconut based ice cream? That's right, yeah, it's vanilla coconut based ice cream. So let's try it. Ooh, I taste the coconut. Of course you have the Nutella. Mm. Mm. The coconut almost like accents the Nutella. Look at this, I literally have, you see that? Well, there's literally streams of Nutella coming out of the straw. But yeah, it tastes coconut and Nutella. It's like coconut and Nutella. <sighs> brain freeze. That's the one thing of drinking it with a straw. You're more happy to get brain freeze. Ooh. Yeah, you taste the coconut. That's crazy. Delicious. Right, everybody, that concludes our time here at Crumbled. Woo! I guarantee my blood sugars are through the roof, but I have not regretted it. That was absolutely delicious. A very unique dessert experience. Having crumbled cake, such a decadent, rich icing. It's a cool spot. I think this is a good little date spot. What do you think, Dom? Good date spot? Yeah, yeah, this is usually where people come. This is where people come? <laughs> Maybe I'll have to come back here. If you want to come with, comment down below. But everybody, thank you so much. Huge thank you to Crumble for having me in. Uh, yeah, Google, thank you as well for directing me to this awesome location. Definitely enjoyed it. I think my absolute favorites for today were, mm, that butterbeer was far exceeded my expectations. I didn't know what to expect. It was absolutely delicious. Cream egg one was good. The one I created was good. I think that's really cool too, you can create your own because then you can basically pick whatever you want on it. Lots of toppings. So everybody, until next time, stay happy, stay healthy, stay hungry, and of course, till next time, happy eating. Every month and or seasonally.
definitely grab into my water. <laughs> It's very dense, yeah. It's, I was just saying that I like I can only do one and I'm like I'm tapped out. I can understand a lot. Yeah. <laughs> well, I can do one. No, of course, yeah. Did you try all the flavors? Pretty much. Yeah. yeah. I'm in the process of it. And then he even made his own. Excuse me. Oh, like a couple, like 